you constantly keep in score. Relationship shouldn't feel like a game of basketball where each person is keeping track of how many times they've done something good or even something bad. We all fall victim to this at times, but a relationship that is consumed by keeping score is toxic. Whether you and your partner constantly highlight one another's faults or you find yourself reciting your resume of good deeds, it's a sign that you've turned against each other. Your partner is constantly stonewalling you. Partners need to talk about a lot of important things in a relationship, not just whether to get sushi or pizza for takeout, or what to watch on Netflix. If your partner flat out refuses to talk about important relationship topics like when to have a baby or buy a home, you may be in a toxic relationship. When it is not possible to discuss the issues in the relationship, there is a huge problem. If you or your partner refuses to fix problems, you could be fostering a potentially toxic relationship. They don't make room for you to grow. In fact, people change over time. We learn new things about ourselves and life and our dreams and goals and even opinions shift. That's okay and it's important to be with someone who's both willing to accept those changes and grow too. In a toxic relationship, your partner will try to hold you back and hold your personal growth against you. Don't let him or her leave and grow instead. Toxic relationships are ones in which a partner feels threatened or insecure about your hobbies and interests. You avoid seeing what you need because there is just no point. We all have important needs in our relationships. Some of the big ones are connection, validation, appreciation, love and affection. When those needs are mocked or ignored, the emptiness of that unmet need will clay more like an old church bell. If your attempt to talk about what you need ends in a fight or another empty promise, accusation of neediness, insecurity, jealousy, or madness, you'll either bury the need or resent that it keeps being overlooked. Either way, it's toxic. You never feel good enough. You feel like nothing you ever do is quite right and are constantly trying to prove your worth. You become addicted to his or her validation. Whenever you do something and it generates any sort of approval from him or her, you feel relieved and it gives you just enough rope to hang into. You try even harder to get more of that feeling and feel like a failure when it doesn't come. No matter how hard you try, you never feel like you're enough or like you're doing things right. You live in a constant state of unease, of second guessing yourself, of trying to be better and good enough. You've been lied to. Little white lies aren't always a bad thing especially when they're told to protect someone you care about. But if you catch a romantic partner in a lie, it's important to look at that person's motivations. Was not to engage in some behavior they know you wouldn't be on board with or supportive of that would be a really scary place to be because it's a strategy that might continue to use no matter what the reason. Make it clear that dishonesty won't be tolerated in your relationship, especially if you've noticed a pattern that's likely to keep repeating. Criticism and contempt. No one is perfect, and the closer you become with someone, the more conspicuous his or her imperfections will become. There is nothing wrong with criticism that comes from a positive place. When criticism is used as a channel to express contempt or disdain for someone else, it can make the other person feel unvalued and worthless. It's hard for a relationship to come back from that. 